after 15 game weeks of exciting and accelerating fixtures without i mean uh, controversies of course so many controversies uh, the english premier league uh, looks at uh, to be shaping up with us now topping uh, the table with uh, just uh, you know two points ahead of liverpool who are also two points ahead of aston villa who are two points ahead of manchester city who are three points ahead of tottenham Hotspur and manchester united in sixth place uh, that is how the english premier league this season is looking uh, to be it is another time uh, to look at uh, what uh, the fixtures for this weekend uh, will give us uh, starting from tomorrow crystal palace will be facing uh, liverpool football club and i tell you it's going to be a very very exciting fixture it's the early kickoff uh, in the pl 1 30 pm nigerian time uh, who would win this one well liverpool have not really been doing so fantastically well i mean uh, uh in of recent uh, because i mean to me liverpool have been struggling to win even winning games but you know they left it later against sheffield united uh, against luton you look at uh, the games that liverpool have been prosecuting it has been a little bit uh, you know scrappy but uh, a win is a win and uh, a win is what liverpool i think they're going to get tomorrow crystal palace uh, after losing a uh, Wilfred Saha this season, have not really been able to score goals. So I look at it, uh, Crystal Palace are amongst uh, the you know uh, teams in the Premier League who have scored the lowest uh, amount of goals, and uh, they are also not keeping that much clean sheet. Uh, looking at how they've been, uh, the two important uh, players for Crystal Palace, I'm talking about that uh, the two Nigerians, uh, Ibrahim Chizzi and Makelele, say have been huffing and puffing in terms of injuries. Uh, they've been going and coming back, uh, and it hasn't really. Stayed stabilized that uh, up for uh, that uh, uh, forward line for Crystal Palace and uh, you know looking at uh, Jordan Ayu and many of them like that Edward Mateta you know it hasn't really been uh, you know a really good side uh, for uh, Roy Oxen's uh, team but uh, I see them putting a fight against Liverpool like I said Liverpool have not been that uh, you know team that uh, you know destroyed teams like they've been doing probably three four seasons ago now they've been getting scrappy wins and i think that's what's going to happen against against crystal palace a slim win for liverpool against uh, uh crystal palace at the sellers park probably a 2-1 or 2 0 victory for liverpool then let's go to the 4 p.m kickoffs where we have uh, Burnley away to brighton and over beyond at old Trafford is manchester united versus Bournemouth. Uh, sheffield united uh, against uh, brentford and uh, that team of uh, hampton wanderers one of the you know uh, quite tricky team uh, in the premier league over hampton wanderers playing against nottingham forest and my quick prediction on this is that uh, brighton definitely are going to defeat uh, uh vincent company side uh, their only win I mean, their major win this season, talking about uh, Burnley, is that uh, against Sheffield United. Uh, against, uh, you know, their fellow relegation battlers, uh, talking about Luton, Sheffield, they've been, you know, trying to do quite well. But beyond that, they've been so, so poor this season. Just 19th uh, on the table uh, ahead of uh, Sheffield United, who they actually defeated 5-0 and, uh, you know, got their manager sacked. I think Brighton are going to win this one. Uh, Mitoma, you know, uh, getting his assist and goals once in a while. Ferguson is back, you know. Uh, I think uh, Brighton have what it takes to defeat Burnley. Uh, for the fact that they went defeated uh, Brentford the last time, most games are the same, but uh, Brighton have the more firepower and but the Zebi side uh, will not relinquish a victory against Burnley this time around. I see it as a 3 1 victory for Brighton. Now, for Manchester United versus Bournemouth, uh, well, uh, I know most of you might be skeptical with United, but they defeated Chelsea. United have not really been able to beat any top eight side this season at all. They've been losing against uh, the top teams, uh, lost against uh, Manchester City, lost against Arsenal, lost against Tottenham Hotspur, lost against Brighton. Uh, they've not played Liverpool, lost against Arsenal. They've been losing against the top team sides. Uh, Chelsea currently are not a big team, so probably that was why they were able to defeat Chelsea. But against Bournemouth, it's not going to be easy at all. Bournemouth seems to have found a little bit of resurgence with uh, Dominic Solanke scoring you know, uh, goals for them. But uh, I see uh, United getting a victory here. Uh, perhaps they might even go ahead and get a clean sheet against Bournemouth, uh, you know, FC this weekend. Uh, that is uh, tomorrow on Saturday. So Manchester United for me, straight win, probably a clean sheet most likely for United. Uh, Ari Maguire, player of the month, doing so well as well. Let's go to Sheffield versus Brentford. Uh, this is also another tricky side. I mean, uh, Sheffield United just got back at uh, their manager, Chris Wilder. I mean, after sacking Ekin Bottom, uh, Brentford uh, are a team that... Um, they 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 awful and powerful. I mean, they win games that I don't expect, and also they you know lose games that I probably expect them to fight more, like against Brighton. But against Sheffield, I think they have what it takes. But 
I mean, I don't think I don't see Brentford winning this one. I think uh, uh, Sheffield are quite uh, getting their form a little bit back against Liverpool. You saw they gave Liverpool a run for their money. If they had better chances at scoring in that game, but they couldn't take their chances. I think this is going to be ending in a draw, probably one one or a two two draw between Sheffield United and uh, Brentford. Another one, Wolverhampton Wanderers, uh, not now for been the last uh, four pm kickoff in the Premier League. Uh, this is going to be a very tight one. Not now for us. have not won it last four games. Uh, Tawawuni, I think, uh, his injury is really affecting them. While Bournemouth with Wangi Chan, the likes of Pudens, uh, uh, have been, you know, they've been doing quite well this season. And I, uh, I think I say join this one, but I don't see uh, Not now for us winning. Perhaps uh, a, a Wolverhampton Wanderers win or draw. Let's go to 6:30 where we have uh, Aston Villa versus Arsenal. That's the Big game this weekend. Aston Villa looking at what they did against City, outplaying them, out maneuvering, uh, maneuvering them, out everything them. I mean, they totally decimated City. I don't see them doing the same against Arsenal. It's going to be difficult. Aston Villa has not lost at home in the last 13, 14 fixtures. They've been winning all, the, all their games at home. And uh, Unai Emery looks uh, like uh, you know a very strong contender for the top for this season. I think they're going to give Arsenal a very strong fight. Uh, um, but I don't see Arsenal winning this one. I don't think Arsenal would, uh, you know, stop uh, the winning, you know, uh, ratio at Aston Villa. Perhaps, uh, maybe Arsenal can get a draw, but I don't see Arsenal winning. I think this Aston Villa side are a very you know, strong bunch. Um, I see, you know, uh, I, I see Aston Villa uh, win or draw here. Or let me just say draw. I see a draw in this game. You know, two two score draw, of course. One one two two. I see it uh, happening in this Aston Villa versus Arsenal game. Arsenal, you know, doing so. Bukayo Saka is going to be very pivotal. Well, I think it's going to be marked and stopped in that game. Um, also, the likes of um, Gabriel Jesus. Ah, I, I just didn't see Arsenal winning this one. No matter what Ateta wants to, you know, do. There's the X factor in Kai Havertz, but I still don't see them winning. Let's leave that and talk about on Sunday, 3 p.m. We have Everton versus Chelsea. Another tricky one. Everton have been on form. Apart from losing to United, they won their. Or the other fixtures. If you look, if you look at their five, six games, uh, they've been winning. Apart from the United game, which they lost three goals to nothing. I think uh, um, the fact that they even defeated Newcastle United three goals to nothing just uh, yesterday is something to actually watch out for. Everton are a very, you know, uh, strong resurgence side right now. Uh, their coach Sean Dyche is. I mean, I think the spirit of Burnley in those days have uh, been, you know, scripted into the Everton side, and they are doing so well. So I think. Um, Chelsea would have to be careful here. Pochettino is getting the dragon already. Um, if he doesn't win this one, if he loses this one, perhaps he might just be getting, uh, you know, probably um, more more threats, you know, to be sacked, you know, putting himself in a position to get sacked. But I don't see Chelsea losing. Chelsea know how to do well against um, strong sides, so to say. You understand? So Everton, a very uh, stubborn team as well. I see Chelsea win or draw in this one. I don't think Everton are going to defeat Chelsea. Probably a Chelsea win or So let's talk about Fulham versus West Ham United. Fulham, five-star performance uh, in their last game uh, and uh, against Nottingham Forest. I mean, Nottingham is different from West Ham. West Ham just defeated Tottenham Motspur yesterday. So it's going to be a very exciting game to watch, uh, to see uh, West Ham United, Mohamed Kudus, uh, Jared Bowen, I think uh, Lucas Paqueta, they have a very bunch of technical you know, uh, players in that team who are actually really ready to prove a point. Uh, West Ham, Fulham with Raul Jimenez not really scoring. But quickly, let me just predict this one. I think uh, Fulham are not going to win. Uh, I see a draw in this one or a slim, a slim victory for West Ham United. So it's is that West Ham wins or a Fulham draw in this one? Let's talk another one. Uh, Luton Town at home to Manchester City. A very crazy affair, I tell you. But City are going to be... I see Ellen Haaland probably getting an hat-trick in this one. Or at least getting two goals and an assist because uh, he's angry. Uh, City is angry. Pep Guardiola is angry. Rudri is back. Uh, and they're going to totally dominate and uh, make sure that they defeat uh, Luton Town well. Uh, you know, uh, on Sunday uh, when they go away. I mean, yeah, when they go away to Luton, I think it's going to be a very crazy game. Last but not the least is Tottenham versus Newcastle United. A very exciting and uh, exciting one. Uh, not to talk too much. I see two goals in this game. Yes, uh, two goals in this game. Uh, Tottenham, last five games, they've been scoring first and dropping points. Losing around 16 points in those, uh, those periods. Uh, Newcastle facing a lot of injuries. Uh, they've not really been doing well. You saw they lost against Everton. Diamond, a triple. I see two goals in this game.
Thank you very much. See you next week.